To end the year off, I'll be showing you how to make pizza rolls, one of my all-time favorite recipes. This is a delicious twist on pizza with all your favorite toppings and cheese stuffed in a soft and fluffy bun. These pizza rolls are also terrific for snacks and lunch boxes. Welcome back, my name is Daniel here to show you simplified recipes that are easy to follow using common ingredients. If you're new to this channel, remember to hit subscribe and that notification bell for more delicious recipes that your friends and family will love. Now let's get started on these pizza rolls. Start by warming up half a cup of milk to no more than 115 degrees Fahrenheit and adding in one tablespoon of butter. Break the butter up with a spoon to make it melt faster. This can also be done very easily in the microwave. Add one teaspoon of white sugar and stir until fully dissolved and the butter is melted. Remove from the heat and add one teaspoon of instant or active dry yeast to the mixture. Stir everything together and then set aside in a warm area for five to 10 minutes to proof. In a large bowl, add one and three quarter cups of all-purpose flour and half a teaspoon of fine salt. When the yeast is activated and looks foamy on top, pour the milk mixture into the flour. Crack in one egg and then stir everything together with a wooden spoon until a sticky dough forms. At that point, you can knead the dough for about seven minutes, then let it rest in a warm area to rise for at least an hour. More detailed instructions can be found in my cinnamon roll recipe linked above. The doughs are very similar. For a no knead method like I'm doing today, cover and let it rise in a warm area for three hours, then put it into the fridge overnight to allow time for the flour to hydrate and the gluten to develop. To make pizza sauce, use one third of a cup of your favorite tomato sauce and add whatever herbs, spices, and seasonings you wish. Pizza for me needs oregano and garlic, but otherwise everything else is to taste. Today, I'm using salt, black pepper, garlic powder, dehydrated onion, oregano, basil, sugar, and Parmesan cheese. I listed specific amounts in the description box below. Stir everything together well and then set aside. Also, shred one cup of dry mozzarella cheese. You can use more if you wish. For the toppings, I'm using a quarter cup of pepperoni. I also cut up salami but did not end up using it. Use whatever you like to put on pizza here but make sure the meats are pre-cooked and everything is cut into very small pieces so it can be rolled easily later. When the dough has risen and at least doubled in size, sprinkle it with some flour. If you store the dough in the fridge overnight, pull it out in advance to let it come to room temperature before moving on. Punch the dough down, and using a floured spatula, release the dough from the sides of the bowl. Generously flour a clean surface that you will be rolling the dough on. Plop the dough onto the surface and fold it in on itself several times while rolling it around a little. This will help make it stretchy, which is critical if you use the no knead method. Using a floured rolling pin, roll the dough out into a very large rectangle, roughly 14 by nine inches. As you can see here, my rolling pin was too large to fit on the rimmed baking sheet. So I transferred the dough to the counter, which I forgot to flour. While salvageable, it did lead to a somewhat sticky situation later on. When the dough is fully rolled out, spoon the pizza sauce on and spread it all over, leaving a small border at the edges for sealing later.
Then, add most of the cheese. And the toppings. Starting with the longer edge, tightly roll the pizza up like a jelly or cinnamon roll. If it's sticking due to not enough flour, use a spatula to assist in the rolling. Fold the other end over the roll and pinch to seal. Cut rolls that are between one and a half to two inches thick and place them on a parchment lined baking sheet with some space in between. You should get about eight to 10 rolls. The rolls may get a little sticky and messy, but not to worry, just reshape them the best you can. Top with the remaining cheese, or you could also do this later. Cover the rolls loosely with some cling wrap and place in a warm area for 45 minutes to rise and pop up again. Once they've expanded like you see here, remove the cling wrap. Top with the remaining cheese if you haven't already. And it's ready to bake. Bake in a preheated 375 degree Fahrenheit oven for 20 to 25 minutes or until the rolls are golden brown. Let it rest for several minutes before serving. And there you have it, delicious pizza rolls fresh out of the oven that everyone will love. They can easily be made ahead of time and frozen for whenever you have a craving for pizza as well. Don't be surprised if they're completely devoured within minutes. Hope you enjoy. All right, everyone, it is time for the taste test. Really excited about these pizza rolls. I love pizza and I am so excited to take a bite. So here we go, first bite. Mm. Mm. Absolutely delicious. I mean, mm. you can't beat that. They're so good. Mm. It's everything you want on a pizza wrapped up in a bun. So there's pepperoni, there's tomato, there's cheese. The cheese on top became a little crispy and got brown and that's just delicious. I love that. The dough is really soft um, and it's not like your traditional pizza dough, but it goes so well with these toppings. Your friends and family are gonna love them. They're gonna be super popular and I guarantee there's gonna be none left. And as always, if you like this recipe, give me a big thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below what you like to put into your pizza rolls. Remember to hit subscribe and that notification bell for more delicious recipes. I will see everyone soon. Till next time. Bye everyone.